Create random game filter. How old do I look? In this project, you will learn about Control object with face tracker Interactive when press and hold record button Random patch Dynamic text Moving smoothing OK. Let's start. In this tutorial, we will do a random filter called How old do I look? The idea is We will have a square like this to track a user's face and let them know what they look like when user press and hold the record button. The number of age will run randomly and display the result after a few seconds. It's like using machine learning, but no, we just faked it to make fun for players. I would be happy if I looked younger. Now, let's open the assets folder I've provided. You can see all the image we will use in this tutorial. Open Spark AR Studio, we will add the texture, create material and some sequence animation. Drag and drop bottom left and frame image. Turn on no compression. Next step, create material. First is bottom left. Change the shader type to flat and add the texture for this material. Do the same way with frame material. Cool. Now we will create an animation sequence to make the digit animation. The age is a number have two digit, so we need the two animation sequence. First for digit 1. Add texture for it by choose the number image. Because the number image is a sprite sheet, you can see this texture have arrow like this. Double to create digit 2 animation sequence. When you work with sprite sheet image, don't forget set up it before you use. Change the row, column, and sprites to match with your image. Nice. We will create two materials for two digits animation sequence. Change the shader type to flat. The choose the digit one animation sequence. Duplicate it to create digit 2 material. Done. Create the scene. Change the view mode to back. Now, add the face tracker to dedic user face. Then clear face mesh inside to retouching face skin. This step, we will add an overlay to make your camera darker. I will use the canvas object. Then add an inner rectangle object. You will make this rectangle fill the screen, click width value, choose full width and full height. Create new material and name to overlay. Then change shader type to flat. Change the color to back and reduce the opacity. Cool. Perfect. The camera is darker. Now we will add visual elements. Please follow my instructions. Create a square dot in the top right corner. In this tutorial, you will know about pinning layout. It helps you pin an element to the same position when you change devices. In this case, I will pin it top and right. Add the bottom left element. This element I will pin it on the left and bottom. Nice. Now we will add the date in the bottom right. 
Add 2D text object inside the canvas. Change the text color like this. Then delete the text because we will use the dynamic text to display today. You can see the list of format. I will choose date medium. Nice. Now drag and drop the font type provided into assets panel to custom your font. You can see your fonts will display at the end of the list. Nice. Change the position. And for this element, I will pin it in the right and bottom. Let's test it with author device to make sure it work well. Okay, great. Now we will add the square frame. I will add a null object and add a plain object inside. I will name it square frame, then add material to it. Cool. Please correct the size. Now, I want this frame to display the camera's original color without being affected by the overlay. I will move this object above the overlay object. Then change the value of the z-axis. Perfect. Now we'll add the number of age. Because age is a two-digit number. We must create two digits. Inside the frame, I create a new null object. Then add plain object to create the digit 1. Add materials to it. Sorry, my mistake. Because we use sprite sheet texture for digit animation sequence. If you see it display like this, it's wrong. We have to choose digit 1, not number. Cool. Let's edit the size of number. I will move it to left a bit. Now, duplicate digit 1 to add digit 2. Move it to right a bit. And don't forget change the material. The material for digit 2 is wrong too. Let's fix it. Nice. Click play button to see animation running. Now, let's choose the digit object and move it like the design. Perfect.